So now has told her side of the story about loving basketball <laughs> and about how rough you were on her because she had never played basketball, which I, I'd be honest, I would have never known that watching the film. So for the basketball players, they had to do the scenes and then do a basketball audition. Same with me. I had to do the scenes and then we'd walk across the street and I'd dribble the ball looking crazy because I had never picked up a ball. Like I had my brother come out and, you know, go to the local court. And I was just like, you can't learn basketball in a couple of weeks or a couple of months. You know, these girls had been, you know, born, came out the womb with the basketball. And then finally, she just kept, every time I thought that it was time to, you know, get to that next level or get the job, she would throw in another basketball player. And that became very emotionally, really hard. And so, and it went on for months and months and everybody in my life said, you got to drop out. She doesn't want you. You're not going to get the job. What I've always wanted to know is that if it wasn't Sanaa, what athlete would you have picked to play that role? I didn't notice I didn't say actor. I said, what athlete? Because I know no. you probably were thinking athlete first. Yeah, absolutely. When I went into Love and Basketball, I even in the writing stage, I said, I will never cast someone who can't play ball. I would never do that to, to female athletes. I, and um, so I was just looking at athletes. And then Sana auditioned. And it was ridiculous. It was a great audition. But she had never, not even didn't, I played a little bit, never touched a ball in her life. Um, and so she just started training with her brother and a friend. And then smartly, she came to me and said, if you're going to have trouble making this, this decision, and I am truly in the running, then get me a basketball coach. So I got the assistant coach of the Sparks, Colleen Matsuhara, who started training her. But at the same time, I also had another young woman named Nisha Butler, who was uh, Miss Basketball in New York. She's, you know, she was the truth. Um, went to Georgia Tech. So they were on parallel tracks and I put Nisha with an acting coach. And it was really tough because they were both really good at two separate things. But Nisha, I mean, Nisha was good in terms of the acting. Sana is Yale Drama School. Sana is next level, still is. So obviously she had she had that. So I, I did go back and forth. I watched their tapes, their readings with Omar a thousand times, trying to make the decision and being afraid to pull the trigger on Sana only because of the basketball, because everything else she brought was Monica. She had it. She had the body. She had the swagger. She had the height. Um, and, but, you know, she couldn't ball, but she was working really hard, really, really hard. Um, and then it, it really came down to her dad, <laughs> her dad called me and said, what you're doing is abusive because this was dragging out for months <laughs> and I knew her dad and that, that hurt because I, I love her dad. Um, but you know, you get lost in your head. It's my first film. I can't fuck it up. It's got to be right. And so it, it was a, a bit of a selfish thing. Um, so at that point, I knew I had to make a decision. And I literally, <laughs> I brought my tapes to a friend of mine. She had her bridal shower. This is how pathetic it was. And I literally, in the middle of her bridal shower, <laughs> was like, I need you to watch something. <laughs> and pulled her into a room and had her. It was Mara Brockacue. Um, and, uh, had her watch it with a couple more bridesmaids in there and, um, and, uh, just trying to help. And finally it was Reg, me and Reg deciding, what are we going to do? Um, and ultimately you've got to go with the actor. You can't take that close up. And Sana had it. So I made the decision for Sana and we joke about it now, but it was, I called her thinking she's going to be jumping up and down. You got the part. I want you to come by so we can talk about it. She's like, nah, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> so pissed. Uh, in that moment, she was pissed. She was like, you know, you should have made this decision months ago. I'm not going to jump all of a sudden. So it's like we started on a bit like this. 
Um, but we worked our way through it and great friends now. And she will never touch a ball ever again. Um, she she, <laughs> she, she told me that. I, I was like, would you ever do uh, another sports movie? She's like, never. <laughs> I was like, dang. I was like, was like Gina Scarter. Right? I did. I did. She is Garter. so proud of the work. Proud of herself, <laughs> proud of the work. But yes, I, yeah, I learned. I did <laughs> learn from that experience. Well, it also probably doesn't help that you yourself play basketball. So like, you really know what it looks like and you know what it feels like and you know what's authentic. So she was kind of, you, you know, up against something <laughs> that is you now typically not the case with somebody shooting a sports movie. No, not at all. And the things I used to actually, though, props to her too. I used to, I was still playing ball at the time. So in different women's leagues. And so I had her come by, just sit on the sideline and watch how we interact, how we walk, how we sit. Um, because it's so specific. I mean, there was, we were shooting a scene with her and she's sitting on the bench and I literally went up to her and I put her feet into, you know, this position. Cause you know, we're kind of pigeon toe, you know, like I was that damn specific, but it was important. <laughs> you know, they say your talent is in the details and this was a world that I absolutely knew intimately and I wanted to get it right. Well, it, it certainly came through and, and is often regarded as it should be as one of the, I hate to, it's calling it, it's definitely a love story, but it, it feels like so much more. I feel like I'm, I'm almost pigeonholing it by calling it that, but a great film that obviously everybody loved. 